Well, the five-star rating program helping set the standard for your child's education it could be going away soon. We're talking about Step Up to Equality. Step Up to Quality. Yeah, a measure approved by Ohio's General Assembly would remove program standards once required in order to get funding. But our Tanisha Cordell spoke with one mom who agrees with local child care advocates, calling the move a threat to families like hers. That's so funny. The worry of a mom comes naturally. Are they eating this or that? And are they growing? And, you know, are they developing? So, yeah, it doesn't stop. And for Leah Ross. I have four kids. Four yeah, kids. so nine, seven, four, and two. That worry like started that, to build like years ago, searching for child care. We live in the city and our neighborhood. Um, it, it is hard. It's really hard, I think. Overall, like generationally, there's been a divestment from our community and it shows the energy and the investment is not always there. Though after committing to a commute and financial assistance, she and her husband found the music settlement. Mommy? Yeah. I want to sit down. Okay. For families, in order for them to work and for them to have income, they do. They need to have a trusted place to, for their child to be so that when they're at work, they're at work and they know that their child's in good hands. The daycare rated five stars through the state's Step Up to Quality program, which started in 2012. We were part of the pilot program, so we helped define for the state what quality looked like. To participate and earn stars, programs must offer research-based curriculum, outreach programs, and professional development. Employees must also have certain levels of education. It's helpful to communicate to parents what to look for. But with approval from Governor DeWine, the program could be cut through December 2022, as the state looks to get more parents back to work full-time and expand child care options. To take this opportunity to then try to dismantle a system that was set up for quality is an injustice to the children. The change added as an amendment to Ohio Bill 169. That's the same bill detailing $639 million in government funding for child care providers. The starting point agency here in Cleveland saying it puts childhood development at risk. Here we are at a point with a crisis in COVID, a crisis with, with with a staffing shortage. And the one thing we wanna do is then remove quality. It's gonna hurt our children. Um, it's gonna hurt them now and it hurt them as adults later on. For parents like Leah, childcare is essential. It should be more than babysitting. And it shouldn't add to their constant worry. When we are put at such a disadvantage of having choices, we're putting a choice on our kids that determines so much of their future. Tanisha Cordell, News 5. Our crisis in the classroom special and our coverage will continue tonight. We're taking a bit.